What's good, everybody? Welcome to the live reactions for XO19. Oh, boy. Britt's here. I'm here. Hello. Hi. Steimer's doing still the in Europe. Ah, uh, she's almost home, though. That went fast. It did. I know. I am so happy that we're able to do this. I love doing live react stuff, and it's not often that we get to do that. I think the last one we did, besides the one of kind of funny, was the res the present Red Dead Redemption Two trailer? Oh my gosh, that was forever ago. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh wow! I mean, this is gonna be fun. Last year, I have to admit, was a great time. Obviously, <laughs> if you guys missed it, the three of us went to the Kind of Funny Games studio and we did live reacts with Tim and Greg, and we got a little inebriated. Dude. Um, because what we didn't realize is that after the stream was over, Greg had planned to shoot like an episode of the games cast with us. He yeah, that was best. That. Yeah. And so we got, uh, got a little hammered and then we had to record an episode. We were all like way too drunk to be recording it, but it was fun. I was, I was looking at some screens of that. And if you look on the table, it's just mountains of bottles, just mountains and mountains. It's like, okay, yeah, we had a great time. Yeah. Um, yeah. what are you drinking this morning, by the way? Uh, well, <laughs> whiskey. And then I looked at the clock and I'm like, wow, it's not even noon yet. Good for you. But I still have my hey. coffee, but it's cold now. So I feel like I have to go like pop it in the Go microwave. get something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have time. Um, I want to just say hey to everybody in the chat. We got Jackson93, Maria, Pete, Kyle, Juicy Luz, Marty McFly, JR. Welcome. We got one John T. Drake, one PSV in Twitch. Awesome. Um, Hello, glad you guys are here. It's going to be uh, it's going to be fun. We decided what we're going to do was we're going to we delayed the podcast recording until after um, XO because we knew that there was going to be some news. And I'm glad that we did because that Stadia AMA happened too. got to get that in there. Oh, Ooh, I missed boy. that. When when that go uh, yesterday? Oh, shit. Yeah. So uh, lots to talk about on the podcast. Um, I've been told to lower my mic. So I'm working on that. Oh, I, went know, John I think I have to do that. Oh. Let's see. Um, <laughs> We're so professional. All right, chat. What are you all looking forward to? Apparently, according to the official tweets, we're getting 12 Xbox Game Studio titles, new reveals. Okay, I'll be PC. RB. Okay. New PC and console game reveals for Game Pass and big Project X Cloud news. So... I'm going to start spouting off some of the things I think we'll see. And I think some of this may even be confirmed, but let me know in chat what you think. <laughs> Apparently I need to lower the mic on my end. Okay. But I'll, I'll work on it. Anywho. So I think we're going to be getting obviously, um, well, it depends. So you, if you follow Z huge X on Twitter, Daniel, Ahmad, I believe is your say, how you say his name. Apparently we're getting a release date for wasteland three, which is in exiles new, wasteland game the last one came out in 2014 this looks really fun i'm excited for this because there's co-op and it kind of gives me some divinity original sin vibes uh, i think we're gonna be getting something on a microsoft flight simulator obviously minecraft dungeons this will also be playable at xo19 this looks really cute i forgot this even existed until i started looking into the event today and it's basically a diablo inst inspired minecraft dungeon crawler which i mean hello i'm all for that and then the big word on the street is we're getting some new Obsidian and new Rare stuff today. Kind of crazy to think about getting something new from Obsidian because the Outer Worlds just came out. But obviously, you know, they were acquired by Microsoft at the announced. So we'll see. Uh, 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 uh. Let's see what we got going on. Backwards compatibility and Marvel vs. Capcom 2 on Twitch. And then, oh, wow, there's a lot of you on YouTube. Mm -mm -mm -mm. The Suffering 1 and 2 Remaster Flight Simulator. Something new for Outlast. Oh, yeah, that's right. Outlast. Speaking of Flight Simulator, there's apparently an airplane sim game where it's just you sitting in an airplane seat going transatlantic. I think that's a game John would love because he doesn't fly enough and he needs to get that experience. So he was mentioning this about how that game feels like it's a ripoff of the John Drake tracker. Do you ever, uh, do you remember this <laughs> or did I no. tell you about this? No. So uh, before John and I, uh, what's up, Denisha? Uh, before John and I started dating, John 
loved to post every single flight he took because he is the self-proclaimed king of the skies. So mm, it's true. what that means is that he was always on airplanes, kind of like he is now. Um, but he would post the route and the flight number. And so mm. everybody could know like where he was flying all the time because he flew so much when he was working with harmonics. But then when we started dating and he started to fly to see me, I was like, hey, um, it's kind of weird that you're like posting about your flights all the time. I kind of don't <laughs> like this. And he eventually had to stop uh, for a, a bunch of other reasons. But before he did, um, Dan Teasdale uh, made an app called the John Drake Tracker, which I don't know if you can still download or not. That's amazing. It's like a mini game where you could actually track all of the flights that John was taking around the world. Let me see. What? Let me see. <laughs> It was also listen. It was a weird I, thing. The, the 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 kids over at Giant Bomb, all of the staff, all of the community, they are all a very you know tight yeah. tight knit group to put it nicely. <laughs> <laughs> I lowered my mic. Hopefully that's better. Don't yell at me anymore. Oh, that's okay. You can wait, yell was at it, me. Was it still loud? Uh, he said I have to do it on my end. Oh, but I did. So maybe maybe it sounds good now. Uh, uh, uh Andrew, is today the day we're gonna see Fable Four? Oh, God, no. Mm -mm. You don't think we're going to get that little playground games hotly? I know. If anything, they would do some kind of a tease. That kind of a reveal to me is Game Awards, right? Or it's E3. That's a huge reveal. I would be it's like, based off what we've yeah. seen from XO in the past, I don't think that they, well, I mean, they haven't done anything that big. So it would make sense to announce that alongside like the full Scarlet reveal. And then this is what you get. Boom. And then I would shit my pants and it would be good. Uh, well, don't shit your pants. We still have to record the show later. Well, I guess hey, you, can you can't smell change anything. Into other pants. I can. Oh, yeah. You're looking out for me. I was going to say, don't worry, baby girl. You can't smell anything through these microphones, but you're looking out for my own well-being. And I, I love that about I you. I don't want you to sit in shit while we're recording. <laughs> I love these streams. What are you drinking? What'd you get? Okay, so I just, I heated up my coffee. So by the way, this says, you gotta be kitten me, right? Meow. That's and adorable. it's got a little paw print on the inside. Um, So I did a, a combo, two pods in the Keurig. I did a pumpkin spice and a chai latte. So I have a pumpkin spice chai latte, um, mm. which is nice and delicious. And then, I, of course, busted out one of our What's Good Game Snifters, with some of that blinking owl bourbon. That's what I'm drinking. Salt Snake Ocelot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I actually course. got to go to the blinking owl distillery. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, Snake lives here in the Los Angeles metro. He technically lives in Orange County. Um, and he was like, hey, they're doing this event. It's like a like a prohibition party. I don't think I actually posted that photo online. I should. Um, yeah. And so we dressed up. So he's got his like zoot suit on and I'm wearing like a flapper dress. Um, and we went to the distillery and had bourbon and played fake gambling games. It was fun. Wait, when was this? This was on Sunday, last weekend. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's incredible. I think I posted it. I, I sent the photo to some of our friends, but I didn't actually post it online. I'm really I mean, bad at posting on Instagram, you guys. I need to get oh, better. Oh, I know. I'm I did my first story last Monday during the Seahawks game, my first Instagram story. I was so proud of myself. You did great, Britt. Thanks. I don't know how people do this all the time, though. I don't understand it. It's a lot of work. I know. That's what I was talking to Greg about recently. I was like, dude, like I just yeah. I can't keep up with your prolific Instagramness. <laughs> it's too hard. Marty McFly, Fable Mobile. No, Marty. No. Hmm. Fable Mobile. I mean, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be opposed to like a Fable Mobile thing, but not as like if, the only thing. It would if they announce Fable Mobile. Before the next fable, it would be like the Diablo thing, right? Why would you don't give us the mobile stuff? And it could be fine, but we just want the big whopping console release. Yeah, we don't ask for much. Just a multi-million dollar budget game. You know, it's fine. Um, Britt, yeah. I'm gonna do a screenshot um, mm -hmm. of us. So let's hold a smile for just a couple seconds. You ready? Okay, go. What's perfect is that the delay on the stream is going to be <laughs> just on point. So now I can set up my screenshot. Ah, genius. Did it, Got yeah, it. Girl, Nailed it. Thing. Nailed it. Fist pound. <laughs> Cross the internet. If you guys could see, maybe I should take a selfie. I have four screens go going in this room right now. 
Maybe I'll do an Insta story about it. Uh, Producing uh, ain't easy. Oh, okay. hey. Uh, um, Mr. Yasman, are we drinking white claws or wine? We're, We're drinking bourbon. There's too many computers. Ah, uh, there's Brittany. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> that was weird. I didn't know what that happened there. I had a moment. Uh, yeah, no, we're drinking bourbon. We're not drinking White Claws or wine. It's never too early for bourbon, right? This is why I love Andrea. She and she encourages me. Yeah, it's true. I do. Mm-mm, Fable remastered. People are saying, "LOL, Fable is dead." Martin McFly, I'm not here for your negativity. <laughs> God Fable's damn. not dead. Wait, why? Why would you say that? No, it's very sad. Okay, what else we got? Oh, probably see something on uh, Ninja Theory's Bleeding Edge, which is that online brawler that was announced at E3, which was kind of surprising. It's not really the game I would think about Ninja Theory playing, but hey, or making, but if that makes them happy, cool. Actually, all the info on this leaked beforehand just this morning or last night on Microsoft Store. So apparently the launch is going to be March 24th for that, and there's going to be some closed betas announced. And mm -mm. there's just not a world where something doesn't leak. I feel like I know. leaks are inevitable now. Now, oh, what's good, Mike? What's good, Peter? The random guy. Aries of War. Antonio Gonzalez. Have you Erica? seen? Oh, welcome. Yes, Blood Chronism. Is that your name? Yeah, I saw the latest Fire Emblem DLC. There's animals and a sauna and new characters, and I get to dress my husband in Claude in sauna gear. I definitely saw that. But this is the thing. I wish all of that, all of those features had been included from the get-go because you get pet the animals. You get to, I think, name the animals. I don't know for sure. But there's a sauna. There's other fun things you can do. There's characters you can recruit. I don't have time to spend another 100-plus hours on Fire Emblem. So I'll never get to see that content for myself. And I'm sad. That's just the world we live in, though. You know? What can you do about it? Build a time machine. I don't know. Be sad, I guess. Yeah. Or build yeah. a time machine. You guys were, like, I mean, 90 seconds away from the start. What do you think they're going to open with, Britt? Resident Evil 3 remake. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Aggressive. No, They're still no. trying to get holiday sales on Resident Evil 2 remake. They wouldn't announce yeah. another one. Speaking of, they almost hit their uh, Resident Evil 2 OG numbers. So after this holiday season, they'll probably the remake will probably surpass the original, which is really exciting. No, I think if this Obsidian news is true, I think uh, that could be a really strong opener. Be like, boom! Everyone's up Obsidian's ass right now because they made a really great game. Um, that's a, also why why that euphemism. <laughs> why not? I guess it's just a visual I wasn't anticipating this early in the morning. <laughs> I guess it's technically <laughs> afternoon now. Mm. Oh my gosh! But you, um, I think they're gonna start with uh like an ode to what they've released so far and then oh, sure. this year, and then they might transition into game pass. I think we're, I mean, I would love to see a halo teaser, but I don't think we will. I think we'll see maybe a gears five DLC teaser. Mm -hmm. I hope that they announce that X cloud is going into beta. Uh, I saw, I think it was either Khalif or it was Paris that was tweeting about how they wanted it to drop before stadia launches and how it would be a very much like a boom, try X cloud uh, ahead of stadia. Uh, yeah. Um, because oh, right now the beta is only in Android, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to turn the volume up. Everybody stand by. And then I'll have to probably adjust the stream volume. Fortnite. Strong opening, Ooh. Xbox. <laughs> They're on boats. They're on the beach. Is this an ad? Like just a Fortnite ad? This is just a Fortnite trailer, isn't it? For, for Fortnite Chapter 2? I thought, yeah. All right. I can't tell if that was like an Xbox thing or if that was just a Twitch ad. <laughs> I think it was an <laughs> Xbox thing. Okay. <laughs> I can't wait to talk about Jedi Fallen Order with you. I know, right? 
I know the stream audio is quiet. I was having trouble getting it boosted while also not boosting Britney's audio because unfortunately, because of how we're streaming, because Britney's being piped in through Skype, they're both coming across the same channel. And there's maybe a way for me to figure that out eventually, but I couldn't get it figured out in time for the stream. Um, I cannot wait to talk about this game. I know you just said that. I know, it's okay. I wonder if we're at the same point. I'm done. The... I rolled credits. Oh, no, no, sorry. I'm talking about during the stream. Like, what do you see, like, right now? The girl with the braid. She got, she got the lightsaber. I just saw the Star, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order title. Oh, no, you're ahead of me. Just try refreshing. Oh, can, I can, just can, saw go. the, I just saw the, I mean, I can. Okay. I just saw the... Thing. Oh no, I'm like I'm like two or three seconds behind you. Oh no. Okay. I mean, they look excited. That one girl in particular looks really excited. Oh, I know. <laughs> I'm. I love the energy. Just love it. Ah, oh, Stig. Thanks so much. Um, wow, this is crazy. Um, we've been so hard at work for the last several years. Oh. And to finally get the game in the fans' hands is just, it's a dream come true. Thank you. But it's been quite a year for they uh, lifted the partial embargo a little bit game. early. They're letting oh. people yeah, yeah, post I mean, very, very Apex short and, uh, gameplay here, things today. Year, shipping, uh, oh, so I'm going to post... So. Po I'm gonna post. I'm gonna post a screenshot because I didn't record magical. anything because I didn't think the embargo was um, but, until uh, tomorrow. You know, but. Huge shout out to um. all respawn, especially to the to my team, the Jedi Fallen Order team. Uh, this is our day. This is our time. We've been waiting to get here for a long time. Um, you know, thank you to Lucas. Just want to clap. I feel like I'm right there with them for Microsoft for having this event. Yeah. What was it like making a game in the Star Wars galaxy? Well, we're making an authentic Star Wars game. There's nothing like it. It's a massive honor. Um, and since day, it's day one, it's something that we never took for granted. Right, and we know you brought some amazing gameplay for us to check out. Right, can... What, game of the Year contender. What's good game said that, too? Well, uh, you could have quoted got, us. Um, you know, I mean, amazing, obviously, uh, we're the most professional, game legitimate game outlet some, out there. Uh, it's uh, bullshit. <laughs> like <laughs> we certainly <laughs> are. <laughs> Speaking of that, I paused my stream for like a second, so maybe we're on the same page now. Oh, okay. So professional. I don't mean to go on and on, right? It's amazing. We have to check this footage out, so let's celebrate the launch and check out this trailer. Um, is there a way for you to turn your Trust mic down even more so I can boost can this audio, just a tad? Yeah. Or we I'll could also, on skip. yeah, we could try this, see. <laughs> hmm, seems like it's locked here. I'm moving this slider around. Not going to but I can maybe move it up in OBS and see what happens. Okay. Oh, I, I can also bring the desktop audio in and see what happens. You guys are willing to go on an audio journey with me. I'm Let's down. Let's do it. Yeah, you don't, don't come, come to this kind of stream for, you know, listen to the glamour. There might be an echo now, though. Let me know if there's an echo, chat. Oi, Dom. Thank you for joining us, Dave. Yeah, yeah, yep, uh, yep, see? I knew it. But the celebration has just begun. XO19 <sighs> starts right now. Okay, I'll just boost this a little bit and we'll see how it goes. Honestly, there's really no happy medium without like a true mixing board. And we don't use a full mixing board because we don't have somebody to run the mixing board while we're recording. <laughs> Is this still echoing? Can I talk yet? Oh yeah, no, I, I took the echo off. I muted the oh. desktop audio. Oh, people are still saying, oh, that might be old. Okay. Oh no, the stream, the stream crashed. <laughs> I turned the, I turned the, I muted the other audio source, so she, she shouldn't have an echo. Oh no. 
What? It's totally, <laughs> it's totally frozen. And this is on Mixer. Okay, I'm gonna try to refresh the page. Oh, my stream isn't. Oh, but your might be. Okay. Yeah, I mine, mine froze. Oh. There we go. <laughs> and we're back. Yeah. Oh my God, her hair. Yeah. Yes. I miss my extensions. Oh, yeah? You thinking about getting them back? <laughs> nah. They're kind of a pain in the ass. I mean, my hair is actually growing now, so. huge show planned for you today with news and reveals from Xbox Game Studios, Xbox Game Pass, Project X Cloud, yep. Idea Xbox, Matt Booty, Phil Spencer, and so much more. Okay, okay. I'm down. I'm down. I do love this outfit, though. I know. Normally, I wouldn't go for a poofy sleeve on camera because they tend to like look flatter and wider than they do in person. Mm. But she's rocking it. I'm into oh, it. Oh, you know, she's great. That Void guy is okay too. Over the next two days. But right now, let's get right to oh. breaking news oh. and send oh. hype. Charlie hype. a hype. very special guest for you, Charlie. Did they say breaking news? Yeah. I don't think that's the way that works. When you report on the news yourself or when you announce the news, you can't call it breaking. <laughs> um, am I still too loud? Okay, I'll try to change it. I can't help it. I'm just so excited. You don't sound loud. Hmm. But again, because I boosted the stream audio and you're coming okay. across the same. Okay, I'll turn it down. I'll turn it down again. Or you can just move the mic away from your face a little bit. I did that too. Double team this. And it's actually a journey that's brought me here tonight to XO19 in London. London so, yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, I'm so proud to be here at XO19, representing the most incredibly talented team of people. We are. Ah! Oh no! Oh, oh no! no. Oh, no. <laughs> that's not us. Oh crap! Yikes! Oh no! Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> well, whoops. Well, holy you know, shit. It's so great. It's I'm okay. I'm going to try refreshing. Is yours back up? No, mine's down. I'll try refreshing. Oh shit. No, Is it up so anywhere? Should we check should we check Twitch maybe? Uh yeah. <laughs> oh no. Oh wait. Nope. Also, not a good look when mixer goes down. Nope. Oh, yeah. oh, wait, hold on. Let's see here. It says start watching. Um, I can't tell if it's off. Oh, no. No, it looks like Twitch is still up. Um, okay. okay. So let me let me do some quick some quick shit here. Everybody hold <laughs> on to your butts. Go, Andrea, go. Go, Andrea, go. I'm going to just do this over here for now. Okay. What are we looking at, chat? Because I missed it. Okay, they probably missed it too. Also, like, lol, lol. <laughs> I know that's not good. Whoops. Whoops. Okay. I gotta, Le Ever I gotta okay. adjust the window, everybody. So okay, just give so me a Rare's second. game, let's just announce, is called Everwild. What, what is it? Good job, Andrea. Matt Booty, but first, for those watching on Mix.com, forward slash xbox and logged into a microsoft account you'll receive a never before released obsidian helm for sea of thieves a gears pop promotional credit and a chance at winning a year subscription to xbox game pass ultimate but first of all can we now get a huge round of applause for matt booty matt booty <laughs> booty now, i'm adjusting the, the booties are nice people uh, we just I love saying they that. Are. They are very lovely people. Next journey, which okay. And we're back. What's it like to show up Everwild for the Good first job. time? And how else is Xbox <clears throat> Studios showing up today? Well, I thought that trailer was amazing. I mean, the visuals are so compelling. Um, it's really just a magical window into something new that's being created at Rare. A whole new world and universe to Oh, I'm going to have to mute the Rare, like a lot crap. of our studios, has more than one team under the same roof. I missed a Gear 6 and now I'm get out of here. With new IP, it's grainiest. That's grainiest. Great leadership with Louise, and that will exist side by side with the team that will continue working on Sea of Thieves. Across all of our studios, uh, we really shifted from a focus on growth and acquisition, yeah. uh, moving on to execution <laughs> and delivery, and really the mixer the still looks down. Games. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna close oh. that window so it doesn't like pop back up over in the middle of <laughs> <with> Independent creators. <laughs> 
who will bring its <laughs> content to Xbox. And what that all adds <sighs> up to is well, tonight you know. we'll be able to show two more new IP and updates on 11 games. People on YouTube are saying it looked like Ori meets Breath of the Wild. Oh, interesting. Also, new IP? Yeah, it's Rare's new IP. Of course, day and day on Xbox Game Pass. And as head of Xbox Game Studios, Let me see if I can what's turn the real this tangible up. benefit that Game Pass gives to you and the studios? Well, the great thing about Game go. Pass is <laughs> yeah, really not to be confused with Outer Wilds or Outer Worlds. What they're great at, which is <laughs> yeah. creating great games. Um, whether it's a large-scale game or a small passion project, both of those can exist inside Xbox. It's also brought a whole new audience to some of our games. It might be a game that someone didn't know about, they hadn't discovered. Um, I see that, that, that one Joey Noel yet. just it's tweeted really a summoning a circle for Viva Pinata. And a good example of oh, well, is, sorry, uh, Joey. <laughs> didn't happen. <laughs> Oh, hey. Oh, this is where they're going to announce and the new so Obsidian Outer game? Worlds just recently launched Hopefully. And already it's found a great audience inside Game Pass. Yeah, thank you so much for coming to talk to us as yeah. well. I'm like, really excited to see everything come. But also, as you said, as an example of multiple teams within the studio, Obsidian Entertainment brought us out of worlds. But we also now have an Xbox, another Xbox Game Studios reveal <gasps> of another title <gasps> of Obsidian showcasing <gasps> those multiple <gasps> teams. Let's take a look at the trailer. Here we oh go. My God. Ah! World <gasps> premiere. Okay, okay, okay. I'm ready. Oh my god, I'm so excited, nervous, anxious. I'm gonna shit. Don't shit. Okay. okay. Survival game. Uh, uh. Oh no, you're little. Is it Honey I Shrunk the Kids? Oh my god, is it? I mean, that's a big baseball. Oh, you're a tiny human. Oh, you're a very tiny human. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. This is definitely okay. giving me Honey, I Shrunk the Kids vibe. Oh god. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Mm. I don't know how I feel about this art style. Yeah. Okay, it looks like a co-op kind of game. Build, survive. It's uh, basically uh. Fortnite. This is Honey, I Shrunk the Fortnite. <laughs> Honey, I Shrunk the <laughs> But is it Battle Royale? No, it's a survival game. Yeah. But what does that mean, right? Huh. Oh, Bugs Life Simulator, says Adam. <laughs> oh my god. That was a great movie. Oh no, why? Oh. Grounded. Like you're on the huh. ground. Hmm. Interesting. Not the kind of game I would expect from Obsidian. Not necessarily a bad thing. Yeah, and also, uh, Spring 2020? That's super soon. Yeah. Congratulations, huge month for Obsidian. So obviously they've been working on this. If it's ready, right. if it's ready to launch in like four months, five months. Okay, here, what do you have to say? Yeah, so Grounded has actually been in development for a little over a year. Huh. It's a small oh. team headed up by Adam Brennicky, who is the executive producer on Deadfire. The whole team is just really into survival games, and we want to see what we can bring to the genre. It's something that was in production before we became part of Microsoft, but once Microsoft saw it, they were really supportive of it moving forward. I know a lot of people associate our studio, obviously, with RPGs, mm -hmm. but we do have multiple teams working on different things at different times, so you can expect to hear more about the RPGs we're working on. Okay. Look at all the nervous That's nerds it. in the it's back just dancing back and forth. Because the they're like, oh shit, I'm on camera. Yeah, don't look, so don't look directly into the camera. Don't look at him. Oh my god, just keep shifting him. I don't know what to do. Now, and it wasn't until dead fire so, it was so weird when that. directors do these live shots in the crowd. Like, look at that one guy right behind him. Just like, he looks like he's his bodyguard. Big big ants. And Adam Brennicky, our project director, was pretty excited about this idea that he ran over to Fergus, our studio head, and said, let's do this. Okay. He gave us the green light, and we put together a small team and started to just flex our creative muscles. And within a month, we knew we had something special, so we just, mm. we just been running. And talking about something special, we hear that Grounded is actually coming to both Xbox Game Preview and Xbox Game Pass. Please, tell people when they're going to be able to get their hands on it. Yeah, so Oops, I finished my whiskey. One, Oops, two, guess we got to get another one. The development of the game as early as possible. 
That's why we will be launching first in the Xbox Insider program. And shortly after hmm. that, we will be going into game this preview. This definitely on seems Xbox like a game One that needs to launch in early access. So I'm glad and that they're doing Xbox game preview game Pass so they can potentially work out any kinks and work with their audience to, to shape this game develop some... You know. Yeah, and, what's and I'm cool glad is that everyone is here, X, in the get-go he said, you know, we're known for RPGs, which is true, but they're working on multiple things at multiple times, and I have more info about RPGs coming up. So I feel like if you have Obsidian, you know, like, what makes them a system seller for you are their RPGs, right? Not like a survival bug's life simulator. So we'll see. There's still time. For the next 36 hours only, you can get between 20 and 70% off some of your favorite mm. Xbox games, including Sea of Go Thieves on. Anniversary Edition, mm -hmm. Gears 5 Ultimate Edition, mm -hmm. Borderlands 3 Super Deluxe Edition, mm -hmm. FIFA 20 Champions Edition, and Edition the Game, the Edition Edition. <laughs> Just made that one up. And more than 20 other fan favorites. But coming up later, we have the latest on Bleeding Edge, xCloud, Phil Spencer, and more game reveals, kind of like this one. Uh, what? World oh. premiere. <laughs> Purgatory, Wyoming, 1888. A shifting land shaped by the souls of the dead. The okay. good ones head east toward the light. The bad ones, sometimes, they stick around when they ain't supposed to. Hmm. That's where I come in. To change their mind. <laughs> I like the art. It's cool looking. But it ain't always that simple. It's kind of giving me super giant vibes. Mm hmm. Skullhead Red Dead Simulator. That's what we'll call this one. Everything's a simulator <laughs> during this review. During this stream. All simulators all the time. All simulators. I says a hero is someone who keeps coming back. West of Dead. Raw Fury. Okay. And what is that? Oh, Upstream yeah. Arcade? Cute. So I got. It looks real cute. <laughs> cute. <laughs> Give us PVE, you cowards. I know oh, I need to let that go. I didn't think about that, but it is a little creature in the well, like. Our next free monthly update: the Seabound Soul. There's an all-new lore-focused tall tale mission. I appreciate that Rare has done a really good job of updating Sea of Thieves and really staying involved with their community. I just have not been given a reason to go back yet. I've heard it's super fun, but I just... Yeah, I just don't want to do PvP. No, that's just it. And I was just saying, I, will we ever get it? I don't know. But the day they announce PvE, if they do, I would be in that, so... Oh, there are no, nope. I would be in there so quick. The last time I played is when I spent over an hour getting treasure, and then it was uh, my ship was sank and the treasure was stolen, and I lost an hour of my life, and I that was it. I rage quit. Ah, what's this game? Is this... Everything wants, wants you to, to die. die. <laughs> well, well, well. Cruel yet compelling survival experience. Well. Rust. Cool. Positive reinforcement. World premiere. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what? Ooh. 
Cart Rider? I've never heard of Cart Rider. But apparently it's a big deal. Huh. On PC? Let's see here. I mean, it looks cute. Crazy Racing Cart Rider from Nexon. Originally launched in Japan in 2004. Excuse me, not Japan, Korea in 2004. Okay, I'll try to lower my mic again. I'm not trying to make your ears bleed, friends. It's not my goal in life. Um, Yeah, also, I can turn down the stream volume just a little bit. Let's see, I'll turn it down Or just more. move it. Move it, move your mic farther away. That'll probably do the trick. Easier than trying to adjust the settings. I'll double end it. I'll do both. <laughs> this is an interesting, an interesting pick. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Rukari! Oh, like What's Sorry, up, I'll Larry? Tell us more about we what we just saw. Please welcome Cart Rider Drift producer DS Choi as well as Cart Rider Drift executive director Moon Park. Welcome to the stage. Welcome to the show. All right, off the bat, I would love for you to tell us a little bit more about bringing the iconic Cart Rider franchise to a global audience on Xbox One. Yeah, uh, sure. Cut Rider is a casual racing game. <laughs> that was that so is cute. Easy to pick up and play. We just celebrated. They've totally practiced all of these answers. They probably did this rehearsal like a dozen times. <laughs> so he's like, you. okay, sure, let me just read my answer again. <laughs> I know. Love it. Now, now, part of the Cart Rider series is the customization. I was taking a look at it earlier. There is a ton of customization in there for Xbox players, right? Yeah. Okay, so. Anyone can customize their cast and characters. Hey, yes. can you more about this? Yeah, sure. So basically, you can see the characters with different skins, and you actually see the different emotes. Oh, they're that you're deep diving on this. Well. Interesting. So that's for the characters, and also cards have different types. I mean, like, these guys are pretty cute. Toilet cards they look strikingly toilet like yeah. the uh, Astrobots <laughs> mm. in Astrobot or right. Rescue yeah. Mission, yeah. and in the playroom yeah. on yeah. Right. PlayStation well, 4. Customization is great. I would love to see some gameplay, and from what I yeah. hear, we've got Cart Rider League's top two esports oh. players. And they're gonna take us through. So Hojin Moon and Insu Park are just over here to the side. What's up, dudes? As they get to racing, will you tell us what we're seeing and what we need to know? Yeah, sure. Sounds good. Boat night, so can I make them look like Wario? The speed mode for the game. Basically, speed mode is all about boosters. We also have item mode, but in this mode, the only item you're using is booster. Mm -hmm. But the way you earn this is actually just by drifting more mm -hmm. and doing more. I'm so bad at racing games, all of them. I'm terrible. I'm actually okay at Mario Kart, that's a lie. Everything else though, mm -mm. I run into trees, I run over people. It's just never a good time. It's just all about practice, right? Like that's the thing with any racing game is that you have to just like practice, practice, practice to get real good. You've just played a lot of Mario Kart, which is why you're good at it. Where we Thank you. Remember that one time I beat you in Mario Kart and Super Nintendo? Oh, yeah, it was just that one time, wasn't it? Uh, it was just the one and only time. <laughs> the one and only time, baby girl. <laughs> that was a good moment. Oh, I, le I, left, I left my career fighting against you in games on a win. I was like, I'm done. <laughs> Quit while you're ahead. Quit while I'm ahead. Drift <laughs> and... Drift. It's oh, really it's like yeah. this is a. I think, uh, I'm trying to understand the choice screen, uh, of the Xbox right to devote right so much of their stream later. to a Basically, game that already exists better, on other platforms. Gonna if you're going to show detailed gameplay, oh, and, I would uh, love to see detailed oh, no. gameplay of a game that's new <laughs> or of a game that's upcoming. It's that pressure, right? Yeah, Instead yeah, of a game which is essentially a glorified port, right? Right. Yeah. I mean, this isn't. It's not getting the panties in a tight and twisted, pleasurable bundle, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah. It's, it's, it looks cute. It looks like something fun to play after a drink or two, or even sober. But, I mean... I'm looking forward to it. Well, thank you both so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. And a reminder, 
The clothes beta for Cartwright. Miranda Toot says, notice they're using keyboards, not controllers. Well, if they're pro players, they have to use keyboards because I'm assuming that they were been playing on PC because it isn't out on Xbox yet. So to make pro players use controllers just for the sake of it being an Xbox presentation would be asinine and dumb. And I'm glad that Xbox didn't make them do that. in the process, you know, in making a game like this? Well, Bleeding Edge is a 4v4 third-person team game. I mean, Ninja Theory's got a great heritage in making combat action games, so I wanted to carry that forward and kind of combine it with my passion for team-based multiplayer. Um, so it's, you know, the moment-to-moment -moment action's really fast-paced, arcade -y, evades, combos, but then there's a team element as well, so it's a really interesting... Trying to fix this microphone looks very issue. Exciting. And you brought something rather special with you today. Yeah, What's yeah, that? Check it. Well, let's check it out. I let's check feel it out. like there's so many of these team-based multiplayer character forward games that the space just can't hold anymore. Yeah. Oh, this is uh, Bleeding Edge, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, the character designs are super cool. Go! Yeah, it's just kind of that thing, and like granted, I know devs need to branch out and try new things, but it's kind of like with Obsidian making the survival game and Ninja Theory making an online brawler. It's just kind of not what you'd expect. Not saying it's a good or a bad thing. It's just kind of a different choice. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try something to see if I can fix your audio on my end. Yeah, because on my end, everything's turned down to, like, the bare minimum, so I'm not sure what's... Um... Have you checked your Skype settings? Yes. Okay, I can check my Skype settings. But to do that, we'll pop up a window over your face, so... That's okay. Stand by. Stand by. Let me try something else first. Because I want the settings up, but it'll just be... I don't want to do it. Like, I don't want to troubleshoot it. Like, honestly. Yeah. It sounds like it could be the icicle. There are so many amazing, colorful characters in there. And I don't Turn know, the so knob on the icicle down. I remember when we went through this with Andrea that one time. Remember? Amazing. It was like the icicle Simer? issue. No, it was... We were streaming, and there was audio issues, and we... Uh, it was uh, well, a while ago. Out on March 24th. Yeah. So you can go to bleedingedge.com. You can pre-order it okay. now. Windows 10, Xbox, Steam. Uh, BRB again, going down. Everything. And we've got some cool pre-order perks. So you get into our closed beta next year. Nice. Um, there's also a cool skin pack that you can unlock. So. Oh, cool, cool, cool. And then obviously we saw a new character uh, within that trailer. Can you tell us a I little bit? I can't tell if that turned it up yeah, or down. Cass, she's awesome. She's <laughs> our new damage class. She's a first hybrid uh, range and melee for the game. Mm -hmm. um, she's awesome at getting into the back line, harassing the healers. She's got these kind of augmented legs. Julia Hardy is always really glamorous, <laughs> Boat Knight. She's off. just like, that's just um, her so, style. Yeah, I'm excited to kind of like how I like to dress up when I host stuff. Deal with her um, I next, remember uh, the outfit yes. that I picked I for the like um, EA Play that, that I hosted was actually like, way more casual than I wanted. The EA wanted something a little bit more casual because normally I go super glam because I love getting dressed up on camera. And there's nothing wrong with being a competent gamer who's also glamorous. Our That's true. How do I sound? Uh, Better? Worse? Anyone? It turned some knobs, yeah, um, pushed some buttons. <laughs> See if like broke. Really nice working with them. And we've got I only moved the knob on the icicle um, a tiny bit. So. Oh, worse. Okay. Oh, maybe nice. I moved I it in the wrong direction. Shit. Thanks so much, Ronnie. Thank you for joining us. I can't so, turn um, the icicle any farther to the left. So. <laughs> from roller coasters to bold I turned it left. I'm turning it left. I'm turning it left, friends. Oh, wait, on your icicle. Yeah, on mine. Premiere. It is left, very far left now. Oh, oh John is texting me. <laughs> Thanks, John. Better? John okay. says, stop adjusting your icicle. Better. I know that she's the desktop audio, but if I turn the desktop audio on, she duplicates. <laughs> this is a troubleshooting stream. Thank you all for joining us. 
and I can't mute the icicle because then my microphone gets muted. Okay, am I good enough? Am I gonna blast all your ears out? Okay. I'm good. Okay. 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 Um, so, in our... And our little bit of troubleshooting with the audio. Um, I missed what this is. What is this? A planet coaster. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> so the icicle is as far left as it goes. Let's remember this when we shoot the show later. Okay. <laughs> Got it. Ah. See, this is what I was expecting from XO19. A lot of like, cool. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was hyped up. And I know you have to hype your shit up, but I think there's a lesson we've all learned on the internet. Don't hype your shit up too hype. People are just gonna be, oh, World maybe premiere. I'll change our mind with this. Doubtful. I'm ready to be wowed. Wow me. Blow my skirt up, Xbox. Oh. Fireweed. Got a new strain of weed. It's called fireweed, man. <laughs> Sounds righteous, bro. So righteous. I'll say this. Oh, again. don't nod. Okay. Let's say it looks very don't naughty. They it does. Are connected. They finish each other's sentences. Read each other's minds. Feel each other's pain. And sometimes. They even relive each other's worst memories. This is wrong. This is all wrong. Mom? Oh, no. Are you sure you want to go in there? Writing down my thoughts helped me realize who I am. Hmm. When I f finally made sense of a few things. I don't know how I never saw it coming. You never but saw it coming. Do to ask the now. She was never going to let me be anything but her little girl. I know you want there to be something to find. Something that'll make it all make sense. I need to know. Huh. Interesting. Did you catch that? Yeah. She never wanted me to be anything but her little girl. Yeah. Do you think this is World a trans premiere. story? I'm hoping. Hard pivot. I would trust Don't Nod to take on to take on a story like that. Yeah, I think they would get the right people on the team. My gosh, I wanted to see more of that. No, don't I know, just I'm pivot like... into the next thing. Ugh. Hard pivot. Oh, ready? Okay. <laughs> what is this? This feels like a fever dream. <laughs> <laughs> fever dream simulator. Wow. Oh, they showed this at E3, I think, John said. Star Gordon's. I can't remember everything at E3, man. Huh. It's a big woolly creature who I want to be my friend. Yeah. Too much fireweed, low C says. Exactly right. What the fuck is that? Some weird pig creature? The Artful Escape. Okay, okay. The art looks really fun. Yeah. It's the Artful Escape, Andrea. Oh, <laughs> Brian and Two says right, Guitar Hero on Mescaline. It's about right. <laughs> two members of the Project X Cloud team here today. Please welcome a guy we've. All right, all right. Here we go. Here we go, you guys. X Cloud. Kareem, you've been on the inside Xbox stage so many times that everyone recognizes you and loves you. <laughs> so welcome back. <laughs> And I am thrilled to have Catherine Gluckstein join us. Catherine, you're one of the key leaders on Project X Cloud, and you head up the product team. Welcome to Inside Xbox. Give her a round of applause. 
<laughs> Thank you, Graham. It is so great to be back home here in London. That's right, a London local as well. I love it. All right, Kareem, can you tell us a little bit about Project X Cloud yes. and why fans should be so excited about this? Of course, Project X Cloud is our cutting edge game streaming technology that takes the power of Xbox and everything that comes along with it and puts it in your phone or tablet. That's your friends, your social network, your save games, your achievements, your gaming history, all your progression. It all comes with you so you don't have to start over. And Project X Cloud can give you this freedom because we're literally putting an Xbox in the cloud. <laughs> okay, that, was a, that was a nice, succinct description. I was about to we knock him for his marketing, like, schmoozy answer, but I, I appreciate, I appreciate <laughs> that. Of delivering, nope. uh, of it was good. Everyone, everywhere. That's right. And, and just last month, you started the first phase of the preview in the UK, the US, and Korea. So what happens next? More games. As of right now, <laughs> there are games. over 50 games in the preview from over 25 of Okay, 50 partners. plus games in the preview. <sighs> that kind of blows Stadia's 12 out of the water. Right. 12, and like, these are yep. fan favorites like Forza Horizon 4, Devil May Cry 5, Tekken 7, and many, many others. And we're not just going to stop there with what we're doing today. You can see us continue to add more and more games over time. <laughs> there you go. Fantastic. So more games and more ways to play. So how can people at home actually get involved? Preview is... Uh, <laughs> we've, we've missed a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. We've heard your feedback loud and clear. Oh, the, see, this is what happens when you over-rehearse. You got to gotta let them be able to like feel the flow. You over-rehearse yeah, and the devs get slow. stuck in there. They get Project stuck in their, like, their script. Windows 10. PCs. Right. Nice. Okay. Project X Cloud Preview will come to Windows 10 PCs in 2020. And of course, we won't stop there. We are working with a ton of partners. I wish my axe was that Project good, Andrea. Of course, we won't stop there. We're working there. with a ton of pop. No, I fucked that up. It was bad. It's okay. It sounded okay. So you, were, you were doing Brit good for a minute. Brit and I should never do accents, BT dubs. Absolutely. Uh, speak for yourself. <laughs> I mean, Brit should always do accents, BT dubs. Of course, plays great with your <laughs> Xbox controllers. And because we believe in choice, we will support multiple Bluetooth controllers, including Razer Jungle Cat and Sony. I like how she says Jungle Cat. Project. Right. Ooh. Okay. Uh, Did somebody cool. just boo at the DualShock? Really? Probably. That's what you're going to boo? Project you're not going to boo the Razer controller? Freedom to play. Hilarious. Right I mean, don't Android, boo the Razer controller, but, but I'm saying, like, don't boo any of the controllers. Devices. The fact that Xbox right. is providing support for DualShock 4 is great. This is, uh, Don't Not has confirmed that Tyler identifies as a transgender man. The studio says it's worked closely with LGBTQ organization and glad to shape Tyler as an authentic character. Amazing. Well, there, Catherine's actually got more news to share. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Tell me more. <laughs> so, um, uh, we view Preview as our journey to create the very best in game streaming, together with our community. And today, we will be inviting more of you to come on that journey. And then next year, we will extend Preview to Canada, Western Europe, Japan, and to right. India. So if you haven't signed up already, what are you waiting for? <laughs> so, uh, Fair enough. There you go. Thank you, Catherine. We're waiting so for it to actually launch, maybe? <laughs> How are you working for it to not be broken? Other publishers and developers on xCloud. You know, we're partnering with the industry in true Xbox style. From, you know, multiple industries, we're working with the world's best. And that's content designers and publishers and developers, silicon designers, hardware manufacturers, telco operators, and many, What's many others. What's a silicon others. designer? They're all coming together to make it possible. Uh, you know, I just smile and nodded, but I have no idea. One of our great partners is here with us today from Electronic Arts, the Chief mm -hmm. Technology Officer, and my good friend, Ken Moss. Fantastic, everyone give a big welcome to CTO Ken CTO of EA, what's he doing there? Oh my goodness, yes. we're gonna find yes. out. Welcome. Oh wait, they welcome did announce the that they were partnering up. In London, Ken. Thank you so much. <laughs> so we, we've worked with our friends at EA for a long time, but uh, you've also been involved in Project X Cloud. So how did you get involved and what does game streaming mean to you? Well, at EA, we want more players around the world to have more opportunity to play all the games that they love. And we've long believed in the power of the cloud and that it's going to transform gaming right at its core. And that starts by bringing all your games. I hate to when these executives come on in like and a hoodie and t shirt and then give like the stiffest marketing answers. Like, dude, like if you're going to like be a casual gamer, be a casual reality, gamer. Talk like a normal person. Project X Cloud. 
awesome. So how do you actually think about developing? Because <laughs> like he looks like a super fun guy, well, right? Actually, yeah, it it's looks like he's being constrained by his message that he has ago. to deliver. Uh, and I'd love for him to just like talk. And the you know, the back there, the behind the studio, is, EA probably uh, has a bunch of dart guns, amazing. like, pointed at him, ready for him to <laughs> fuck out anything up. So he has to... Uh, <laughs> they got snipers and tranks on the ceiling. <laughs> uh, and, and, but it starts oh, with... Shit. How it's like, that was funny, because uh, chat, so chat's they're talking they're about it. I immediately thought of the, like, uh, the Cool Kids now gif with Steve Buscemi, right? With the, no. with the hoodie and the skateboard. Xbox, you're automatically nope, building right, right over my head. No Hold on, I gotta Google this now. Cool. <laughs> Ken, when you came to visit us at Microsoft to learn about Project X Cloud, that morning I asked I can't believe you haven't seen this GIF. It's like so I probably have. Probably, I don't know who it is you're talking you about. You don't know who Steve Buscemi is? is? It was amazing. Hell no, Andrea. If you saw him, you would instantly recognize him. I'm sure I would. That's Gosh, how a lot of things go in my life. Yeah, she doesn't so know so about Steve Buscemi eyes. Wait. Oh, 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 yes, yes, yes. So thanks for, uh, for the great oh. partnership. Nice. But and somehow Honey Boo Boo's mom is like showing up in this image no search. I don't, I'm getting out of this window. I don't know what's happening. Well, one of our flagship games uh, that has roots as deep as Electronic Arts itself uh, is one that I want to talk about today. And I'm excited to announce that Madden NFL, Madden NFL 20 is I... now available on Project X Cloud, <laughs> uh, available today. Uh, available today. Uh... Love it. Touchdown. <laughs> Touchdown. <laughs> that was the best laugh ever. Wow. And as we Who continue that? to learn together about how to make our players uh, or how our players want to play games in a Hello, Joe world, Kennison. We're looking for new genres to bring. We're looking at, at huge worlds and RPGs. <laughs> Kevin, that's a good point. He should have totally yeah. turned his chair Parker around and sat on it backwards. Then he so would relate to all the cool kids. More games to X Cloud in the <laughs> Oh, excellent. That's amazing news, Ken. Uh, but also, like, a hoodie? You're going on stage? Oh. And I like how it's perfectly zipped. Before we go, yeah. that you've got something else oh, for oh, us as oh. well. That we often get asked, hey, what happens after preview? So we're here today to announce two things. In 2020, we're going to give you the ability to play the games that you own from the cloud or the games that you will purchase in the future. Okay. And... We all know that Xbox Game Pass is the best place to discover and what? play your next favorite game. And I'm delighted to announce that next year we will bring game streaming to Xbox Game Pass so that you are free to discover and play anywhere and everywhere. <laughs> oh, I mean, that was a given though, wasn't it? I thought so. I don't know why that that's, I don't know why that's news. I just... Maybe I just assumed that Game Pass would be available on XCloud. Like, why wouldn't it be? They've announced why that at the beginning. Forward slash game I don't remember is the, the news that it's but coming I, next year? That it's launching in 2020? Because if they weren't going to launch it in 2020, I'd be like, WTF, why? Xbox, yeah. wait until 2021? All I know <laughs> is I see those Dragon Ball Z Kakarot kiosks behind those people. Oh, yeah, that's my jam. Is upon us. Oh, so Boat Knight says, I can't believe it's going to be 2020. Oh, so you mean you can't believe that it's what is it? that late or that soon? Backlog, Please clarify. Which is already horrendous, but I, I have would have thought the Game Pass streaming game would have backlog. launched before oh, the end of the year, but yes. maybe it's just not ready yet. So that clearly means that xCloud isn't coming out of early access or gameplay preview. Probably before the end of the year would be my guess. Including bundles with Gears 5, Forza Lego, NBA 2K20, and more. Now that means the Xbox One S All Digital Edition is only one forty nine ninety nine. Okay. The, the sad edition, edition, you mean? Comes bundled with sad. Oh. Sea of Thieves and of course it's true. Fortnite Battle Royale. Xbox right, Sad Edition. Games, you need controllers. You'll be able to get I still don't know how that passed. Controllers including Night Ops Camo Special Edition, the Fortnite Special Edition, the Gears Five Kate Diaz Limited Edition. It's a nice controller. Gray it one, is. Right? It's a real and pretty Design controller. And Labs get up to ten dollars off your personal customizable control. All right, that's great. We talk bundles, we talk controllers, but yeah. of course we need games. Now you can get up to 50% off Xbox Game Studio titles, including Gears 5, Sea of Thieves Anniversary Edition, Forza Horizon 4. Plus now, if Xbox had announced NBA, that you could get a Game Pass edition, subscription without buying an Xbox and, and now, then stream on xCloud, an Xbox that to me is huge because that to me 
you get trumps what Stadia is doing. The Black Friday deal. I mean, everything Fox trumps what Stadia is doing at this point. November. Well, Sorry. yeah, because it's not out now, yet. Stores are well, even when it's out, because they're I'm just giving shade. Um, no, we'll, well, those, there's lots of shade that we're going to be giving store price of the season. on the right, show the you've about that on AMA, but we'll talk about so that excited. later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so wait, is it, is it over? Is it done? What's happening? Oh, it yes. Might be. It's been 45 yes. minutes. Yakuza. Yakuza. So good. These are the best games ever. Which is so fun. World oh, oh, premiere. Oh, oh. <laughs> Okay, here we go, here we go. Oh, 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 Fuck me up like a buttercup on a Saturday morning. That's not a song. I don't know what's happening. The molasses flood. What's up? Ah, never mind. Is it Frozen? She looks like the girl from Frozen. Elsa? Yes, she does. Thank you. Is it Kingdom Hearts? <laughs> I'm Definitely kind not. of... Are you going to talk about the art style? Yes. Yeah, yep. I'm right Why there does everything look like Fortnite now? Like, just because yeah. Fortnite was a smash success doesn't mean everyone's game needs to look like Fortnite. Oh, yeah, I was thinking, I'm just. It's... Hmm. Oh, God. It's another fireweed fever dream. Oh, Brittany, it's a planting game. You're going to farm oh, shit? Are you oh, ready? Oh, shit. Oh, I got my overalls ready. <laughs> I got the plow and the hoe and the sickle ready. Hmm, this does look like a brick game, though. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> this does look like my kind of game. Oh no! And there's a monster. Oh, oh, oh so it's, see, you it's can help Fortnite me, Andrea. farming. Okay, so we've oh got. Oh my god! So we've got Honey, I Shrunk the Fortnite, and now we've got Fortnite farming. Okay, maybe this was shown at E3. It said world premiere. I guess that doesn't matter, though, does it? Drake Hollow? It's my game, everybody. Oh yep. Just kidding. It's John's game. Now, Elsa during her goth phase is a joke. <laughs> If you don't have an Xbox One X yet, what? Is she, or even an she Xbox get a tattoo? She's getting a temporary tattoo. Also, oh. really, really, director, you decided to go with this is your bit you're going to do on stage at XO, give the host a temporary tattoo. Be like, LOL, look at my tattoo, guys. Like, but I do love this top she's wearing. It's super cute. Xbox. And I yeah, love how Falcons she's got like the translucent sleeves. You can see her tats. Mm -hmm. Good wardrobe choice. Oh, she's talking about the all access thing. Oh. I think it was Polygon did a really good breakdown. It was either Polygon or IGN did a really good breakdown article on like the actual cost difference. Oh, oh no. Oh, Twitch, don't you do me dirty like this. Okay. I know. Okay, good, it came back. Okay. Oh. Contact with Visegrad Relay was oh. last night. Halo? Oh. Is this, uh, been good to me. Halo Wars? Time has come to return the favor. Yeah. In stunning 4K. Whoa. I appreciate Upra's art, but it still looks like old art. Let's just be honest. Yeah. No, you're not wrong. Oh, yeah. Yes. God, these games are so. Oh. We've been wondering what your pardon died for. Adam, I'm the last person alive who hates Halo Reach. Oh, <gasps> why do you hate Halo Reach? What's wrong with you? Oh, hey, Halo Reaches. I remember Halo Reach looking a lot better than that, though. Andrew, we're just getting old. That's what's happening here, okay? Let me hold it in my mind as being one of my favorite Halo games. As being a beautiful game, I know. We're going to be talking Reach right now. Before we get to the release date, first, for those who may not be initiated, how does Halo Reach fit into the Master Chief collection. Well, Halo Reach is sort of the prequel. It doesn't. This kicks off the whole saga of Master Chief's journey before the events of Halo Reach <laughs> evolved. Short so answer. If you're an old-time fan or new to the franchise, <laughs> it's the perfect place to jump oh, in. Oh, okay. shit. More importantly, 
when do I get to play it? Well, we are close now, December 3rd. I am glad it's coming to the Master Chief Collection, though. Mm -hmm. and for the first time, Before I infinite, I'm gonna go through all the games one time. more time. <gasps> we could co-op them, Brit. Master Chief Collection yes, girl. Title, yes. yeah, I will totally. play with you, I'm not just saying that. It could be fun, we could stream it maybe. It would be fun. All of MCC starting with Reach on Xbox Game Pass for Xbox. I just teabag everything. In addition, Heads up. we are now live for pre-orders on Microsoft I mean, as you do. Steam yeah, yeah. for the first time. Oh, that's going to be a good time, Brian. I got to say, it's crazy. <laughs> Gabe, the most exciting announcement as a 10-year-old game. I was, party. Right? Oh, this is I was, so horrible. Here we are. We come full circle. I, you guys really take care of the community, and I, I got to say thank you for that, but I know you want to give them thanks as yeah, well. Yeah, honestly, we've been working on this project for a long time. The world's waited a long time for Halo to come to PC <laughs> for real now, so we're excited. We could not have done it without our community, so thank you on behalf of the entire studio, everybody who's been a part of our fighting program. December 3rd is just the first step. We're just getting started. We have a long way to go on this journey, but we're bringing all of MCC. That <laughs> guy's MCC. face, that guy's face in the back. Well, thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Amazing. Now, let's take things this is why you don't have plebes on stage behind be you. Just don't it's do it. Flight oh, Flight Simulator. Oh my God. My bladder's about to burst. This is what I get from drinking all that water. It's okay. Well, depending on what this is, you might be able to sneak a quick break. I might. Is this flight simulator? It is. Then you should go now. <laughs> go now. And I probably should, but it's go so now, pretty. Brent, go now, Go! But it's so pretty! Uh, this is a game I'll never play anyway. Okay, bye. Be right back. I vividly remember playing f flight simulator on my PC as a kid and just always having just a bear of a time with the flight controls. I don't know if it's because it feels like the controls are inverted, like when you're using like the the flight stick to move the plane up and down, or what I just struggled with, but I think also I was overcorrecting a lot and so I was I felt like I was crashing my plane quite a bit. But I do think it's impressive that they have revived this franchise that has, you know, had its community, you know, kind of a whole, a whole tried and true on, on PC. It would be cool to see them, you know, do some, you know, like really cool new planes. I wonder if that's part of this announcement. What I miss? Anything exciting? No, just planes. Airplanes. Plane stuff. No. <laughs> Okay, I'm on enough of those. I don't need to see anymore. I'm good. Yes, Bonut, it was born to be a VR game if you want to throw up. <laughs> um, here's the thing about VR. Like, you have to be very cautious about what you do for locomotion because the brain can only handle so much stimuli. <laughs> Every time I've been in VR and done in some kind of vehicle, it's been, it's been a bad, it's been a bad way. Yeah, what were we at? Was it PSX the last time I saw you play something at VR and you got sick and you had to stop? Um, I think it might have been GDC. Oh yeah, that sounds right. It was one of those. Oh. It happens to be quite frequently, sadly. Which is a bummer, because I like VR. Yeah. I definitely wouldn't say it's a bust, Gabe. I think VR absolutely has a place, but I think that there's very specific experiences that are successful in VR. And if a team isn't creating something for VR and instead they're adapting a game that's on PC or console for VR, that's really where you run into trouble. But if you look at people like Insomniac who are creating specific VR experiences, um, or you know, people like the the team at Beat Saber, you know, the, those things are designed just for VR. They're not adapted. Now, not to say that no adaptations can be successful. I just have found in my personal experience. <laughs> that they're not go. as We're successful as games game developed specifically for the platform. Shannon. Loftus, good to see you. Great to welcome oh, Shannon. Stage. Thanks. I love nervous. her top. Do Can I just say, all the ladies are oh, just dressed so I want to say thank you, nicely. Age fans, for being so patient with us. I know we talked about age four two years ago. What does her necklace and say? And we went quiet. Well, we got it ready, Ooh. really, to start showing Ooh, you. Low, 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 low. I have no idea. everybody here to understand what you saw gameplay there is what we are playing every day on the team. <laughs> Humble Ooh. brag. Jeez. That's unbelievable. Yeah. So today we revealed two things. Okay. Uh, you might find more as you go through the trailer, but the two big things are the era of the game, which is the medieval era. Yes. And then the second are two of our civilizations, the Mongols and the English. Wake up! All right. 
Now, I got to talk to you about this because the Age of Empires is a 20-year franchise yeah. with millions of people around the world who played it. What does it mean for your team to bring a new title into the family of this, this RTS legend? It means a lot of feelings. <laughs> Think about the generational game like That many this. feelings. You start to meet people All of the feels, you guys. Who grew up playing the game with their parents, and now they want to play it with their kids. Right. And so um, what, that re what it made us realize is that we have this incredible community and the love and the passion for this game that we've um, experienced from the community, it seems kind of limitless. Yeah. And then um, when we started thinking about Age of Empires 4 and we're thinking about the great legacy games, we realized that there are still so many stories to be told yeah. in human history. And real-time strategy is a genre that has given birth to so many other strategies, and yet it still holds true. We grow our user base every single month. And we kept exploring uh -oh, for the edges of like, where, <laughs> what is the limits to the potential for this <laughs> okay. We need something nowhere, to talk about. <laughs> we needed something we to talk about during this anyway. Uh, okay. We're good. Studio yes. for Age of Empires. And today I'm excited Maybe to Maybe it was just three hiccups the and, then, and then they're gone. The wow. Um, Here we go. That was weird. And sweet. World's Edge. World's Edge. Ah. That was, so, yeah. oh, three no, hiccup wonder. No, nope. four hiccup wonder, Andrea Renee. Age fans don't have to wait to get their age fixed, right? Because today um, just is don't, a very Just don't count day, right? them. It'll be fine. Today is an amazing day. Yeah. I'm so excited. It's a launch day. Oh, no. Oh, it's back. Oh, they're it's back. back. And they're back. Yep. This is the best version of Age of Empires 2. It has 4K graphics, up everything, all new music, sound effects. We have so a whole new civilization, all the DLC, and a ton of quality of life improvements. Most of all, though, yeah. what matters to us most oh, is that Oh, dang. I like that they featured that so this guy that said Stadia who? On this journey. Game so Pass and xCloud together? E. We will be oh, I missed it. Now, if that's what they were announcing, and I need to help us get clarification, then that is huge. If you could just game pass buy Game Pass right, Janet, okay. and, and you not get, own an Xbox. Let's take a look at that trailer. Can you do that? Well, you have to, to have Game Pass, you have to have an Xbox Live account, right? Right, which you can just get online. <laughs> right, right. So if you have xCloud, you're going to have to have an account. So are you saying, like, you can just get Game Pass without having to own a console? I imagine you would. That wouldn't be surprising, right, that you could do that. That, to me, is the biggest thing because all of Xbox First Party is coming day and date to Game Pass, right? That's what they've been promoting. That's what they've shown so far. Gears right. and Outer Worlds and hopefully everything next year. Halo. Okay, I'm reading about So if it. you okay. don't have an Xbox and you don't have to buy a PC, you can just get a subscription to Game Pass and have xCloud like, and play on your phone or on your TV without a console. That, that's huge. Also, why would you do that? Okay, here's How something from Venture Beat. Scarlet? <laughs> Yes, Hold on, make sure Ricario doesn't have anything amazing to say. He always says. The first console version of one of the most popular first-person shooters in the world, coming exclusively to Xbox One in 2020. Today, we're debuting a first look at gameplay, but first, we sent Benny out on the road to find out more about the game and the team. It looks like they've it. cleared out that room, mostly. For the very is this Crossfire? Time, yeah, Crossfire. Okay, um... Xbox. This... Venture B asked Microsoft to clarify if it's adding streaming at no additional charge to buy in a game and subscribing. In response, Microsoft said, quote, all we can say for now is we want to offer choice in how players stream games from the cloud. We'll have more details to share at a later date. So they haven't confirmed. Right. They're, yeah. It's kind of murky. International hmm. phenomenon because oh, food. Most popular PC games also, like, are we watching this guy like go on like a food journey? What's happening crossfire. here? No, okay, so yeah, they're talking <laughs> Crossfire X, which is an insanely popular free to play shooter, right? And yeah, so I think they're just there and they're talking about the food because that's very important. You see, we're very food driven people. We are. What is lunchtime here? Now is the right yeah, it is. To prove the, the, what we can do. Thank so is this so like the much, end of the stream? Kind of is the stream over? I'm not sure because we just got a world premiere, right? Like not that long ago. I've landed in I don't know what's happening. Finland, and I'm heading to Remedy Entertainment. Their experts are combining unique worlds 
dark stories, and great combat systems. I want to find out. So I'm wondering, is at the end of this, is there going to be a big reveal? Whoa! Or is this just like a fluff now to like slowly end? I don't know what's happening. Yeah, this is all like a waste of my time. I'm <laughs> just going to say it. I love you. This is the You're hard the part. This is the hard part about the producer, Andrea, uh, that exists within me, is that I look at this and go, wow, this piece probably costs a lot of money to make between the travel, the camera ops, the lighting, the B roll, the editing, all of it. It looks really pretty. But, like, for what? And find out Why are you spending all this money on this piece? We've got remedy. But this We've is the kind of stuff that I love to host, box. even though the producer in me is like, working? no one's going to watch this. You're just conflicted. You're very conflicted right now. Easy. Between yeah. content yeah. creator, producer, and host, right? Yeah. People be getting excited yep. for. If you want <laughs> aim down sight experiences, we have that mode available for you. <laughs> if you like battle royales like I do, we've got one of those. There literally is a I mean, it looks great. First person that depth of field. Mm. For most your of the DP players, did his job. Or her, her job. Come to an end, or their job. I don't know who your DP is, quite frankly. Gameplay. Here uh, it is. It's oh, food. A taste We're back to food? To oh my yeah. gosh. What's going on? I came here to watch a fucking press conference, Xbox. You know, maybe that was our problem, is we had that expectation, but they did say it's a special episode of Inside Xbox. Okay, this is just Crossfire. Yeah. Crossfire! Do, 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 do we always have to say fire. it like that? But isn't that, yeah, isn't that the commercial for the, like, yes. the Nerf guns? Yes! Well, not the Nerf, the, the Crossfire No, guns. it's the, um, oh god, I'm trying to find it. Yeah, Crossfire, it's that, like, weird pinball-y thingy or whatever. Oh. You know that song still gets stuck in my head to this day. Kind of like the the jump rope that you would skip it, skip it, do 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 do. Did you, did you have a about? skip it? Fuck yeah, I had a skip it, but I, I was always. Too. I've always been a klutz, so I, I was, was not really bad at it too. This game yeah. was fucking hard, man. It was hard. It was easier to jump rope. Yeah, I was bad at that too. <laughs> Especially when the kids in the playground would have the doubles going and you have to like try to run in. Ooh, Always got smacked I was in the face. good at the doubles. For some oh, reason, no. I was better at the doubles than I was at the single. I always get bumped in the head, well, on my forehead. It was a good time. Your rope, your rope throwers weren't doing it good enough. I mean, yeah, I'm just gonna blame them. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm validated. Cross fire! Jeez. God. Okay, so we're back, the show. He's like, how great was it that I got to fly around the world and do this piece and eat all this food and get paid by Xbox? But how are you feeling? Excited. This crowd is awesome. Thank you, by the way. It's awesome. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. We're super excited to be here, but even more excited to bring Crossfire X next year to our fans. So we're super excited about that. So on behalf of our great partners at Remedy and Smilegate Entertainment, thank you very much. Can we give thank everyone a round of applause? Oh, so that was the connection. I didn't realize that both of those devs were working on the console port. Okay. To play the game next oh. year, but thanks again for being here. And also, I can't wait for Crossfire X. But next up, a game our executive producer calls Twins Pixian. Oh. Check this oh. out. Twins PC and he means control. What? World premiere. Oh, new game. Okay. Ooh. Oh, yeah. It's the art again, man. At least this one looks a little better. It does look a little different, keep but. Seeing him bringing home different girls, but I've not seen one of them leave. Oh. I wonder where he's going. Oh. oh, I'm into it. I'm already into it. Out. Juicy drama. Murder mystery. Oh no. Oh no! It's back. Okay, it's back. Jesus, you've stolen my body! I haven't done anything. There's got to be some cause, some connection between the two. Is it Freaky Friday? Oh, so oh maybe. <laughs> I've seen that movie. Depends on what I stand to gain. I'm oh. the worst nightmare. Pray that you need no set eyes on me again. Oh. What the hell are you doing? This is mental. Oh, oh. You're gonna witness an annihilation. Whoa. What the fuck? This is weird, but I'm into it. I, I, I know like I was weird. gonna say. I'm very excited for this. Yeah. Wait, is this more Fortnite? Wow. Yes. Are they yes. capping their stream at the front and the looks... back with Fortnite? I I mean 
Did Epic like pay for the stream or what happened here? <laughs> Why is this I mean, happening? Like, here, here's the thing is Epic doesn't need to advertise anymore. No, honestly. of course not. The dark They're mark. Good. I mean, what? Hmm. There was just a random Fortnite ad in the middle of your stream? <laughs> really, Xbox? Are you fucking kidding me right now? You had to sell an advertising spot? Or maybe oh, you Minecraft didn't sell Dungeons. it. Maybe you just yeah, gave no, it to them? Yeah, this is a good thing. Let's be happy for this. This is good. Okay. We can... Minecraft Dungeons. Okay. Sorry, Brett. I got, I got, I got no. stuck there for a second. Thank you. No, no, no. I got you. Very soon, we have a whole show where you can talk about it. Wasteland 3, Brian Fargo is stopping by, but first, that's right. You heard it here first. <laughs> is coming out starting in April. <laughs> I'm sorry, the atomizer. I didn't mean to yell into the microphone. Before. I got very Please upset. Executive producer for Minecraft Dungeons, David Nishogan. Oh, see, a random <laughs> Minecraft ad would make sense. It's an Xbox owned property. Nathan from the Dungeons team here to show off new game oh. I'm going to get stuck in in a minute. But David, do you want to tell us first what we're looking at? Short and sweet. Yeah. Uh, Minecraft Dungeons is a brand new game in the Minecraft universe. Mm -hmm. And it's inspired. How come no one picked the hair off of his shirt before he went on stage? I mean, we you know, like game, he needs friends to do that. Right, this is what I'm saying is that there's always no, this is live, got so to be somebody to who's like doing on. hair management so and <laughs> on stage. You see their health bars, like, make sure that it's not like winging left, out or doing this and that you've uh, lynched you these little icons with X. Maybe he got really nervous right before he went on stage and just like pulled a bunch of his hair out. I mean, that's very likely. I do that a lot before I go on stage too. And they have quite Boat Night, Diablo 4, I hate to bring it to you, is not coming out for a very, very, oh, yes. very long time. Are, this game, however, is coming out next year. <laughs> so this can hold you over. <laughs> Think of it that way. They actually enchant other mobs and makes them bigger and smaller. Kind of hold you over. Now, Mons and Nathan actually found a secret. Most no, of Andrew, does this float your boat at all? Procedurally generated. No. Uh -huh. so sometimes okay. You I appreciate that they've taken this long-standing uh, IP and said, hey, you know what? We really want to infuse a fresh perspective into it. We want to do something different gameplay-wise, something that people haven't seen. Because, I mean, there's been so many amazing custom servers and custom mods and everything within the Minecraft community itself that there's a lot of different technically, like, game modes that you can play just within Minecraft. And so, like, seeing Microsoft say, we're going to invest in creating a standalone Minecraft game, I think is really smart of them and really allows them to expand their audience, maybe uh, bring people back in that have stepped away from Minecraft. Is no but it's just not for game. Andrea. Uh, you are what okay. you wear. Everything you pick up, <clears throat> everybody can just equip it. All the different artifacts, ranged weapon, melee weapon, armors. Etc. Hey, this is going to get pretty hairy here. <laughs> yeah, Brett, I'm not straight up board. I'm trying to, I'm trying to do a lot of things at once. So if you see my eyes like focused on like a different screen, it's because I have four different screens happening that you can't see. As we see, and that's it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that was show notes. Yeah, well, I mean, that wouldn't be a terrible <laughs> oh, idea. No, but this looks cute. Oh, no. Okay, no. Oh, okay, I'll start one. Right. Oh, I do need to revive someone and not just stack um, in the corner. I like that that little bear so is just like going uh, ham like, on oh, no, arrows. I know. I won't Go say I love, no, but uh -huh. it's a lot of fun. I've tried getting into the Minecraft so proper. I just can't. I just dig myself too far see, down. Oh, I go straight TNT, down, and then I'm TNT, stuck. And then life cool. is just not oh, good. So TNT, but this is my kind of jam. It sounds like all the levels are randomly generated, and that you're going to have a hub. But it's not roguelike or anything, but it's, you know, action RPG. So you actually do get to level up your characters and whatnot. It sounds like there aren't any classes that you get to choose. It all depends on the gear that you want to wear, and that you can swap it out on the fly. So I'm trying to look at the classes. I see arrows. I see melee. I haven't been paying attention. Have there been spells? Oh, well, I guess that is a wizard with the hat. No, he has his sight. What's he doing? You see the character in the yellow is like clicking some buttons. They're solving a puzzle. And that's sort of... Those can also happen randomly, quite rare. Okay, but this is too much of this game now. Like the big treasure room yep, the this has gone on for yeah. too long. Well, we got nine because the people who are buying and playing okay, Minecraft are not watching this stream. I'd be, I'd be all those emeralds, this is the problem with a lot of these... There, Reveal streams or like tentpole activity or event streams. Yeah. It's tough because like the people who decide what goes in these streams are really torn between we want to service the audience watching the stream. We also want to service the teams that work on our games. 
where we want to make sure that the people who are working on Minecraft Dungeons feel like they're not being left out of the EXO stream because they're a huge part of Microsoft's business, right? And so it's a balance between how much of time do we give them on stage in our, our big showy press conference and how much time do we say, oh, you don't get this, you know? It's like, they can't cut Minecraft out of their stream altogether because it's one of their most successful properties. Oh, oh. Okay, so finally, finally, <laughs> classic Final Fantasy titles will be appearing on Xbox Game Pass for console and for PC. That's cool. Yes. Are those, um, are those the, um, the Xbox One up-res versions, you think? I, well, Final Fantasy VIII Remastered, Final Fantasy... I am just trying to see. Yay! All coming to Game Pass. That's pretty huge. <laughs> so we're bringing nine titles, ten different SKUs in sequence to Xbox Game Pass starting next year, oh, 2020. Oh, huh. wow, okay, cool. Amazing. That's amazing. Starting in 2020. Big yeah. There. I mean, I didn't need the interpretation for the Final Fantasy <laughs> bit, but I, I got the gist, yeah. Um, but that's obviously not the only news oh. uh, that you've got to drop, uh, Hazama-san. Uh, what else uh, do you have to say? <laughs> His hair is wicked. え、キングダムハーツ <laughs> Why are there so many weird titles? It's Where's Alexa? Hearts, man. Uh, we believe this will allow Xbox One players for the very first time to experience the entire Kingdom Hearts story from the start right up to the latest game. That's awesome. Oh, That's huge because Kingdom Hearts has always been very aligned with PlayStation. Obviously, both Japanese brands and a lot of Square's titles have been released as either PlayStation exclusives or released on PlayStation first. And that they're coming to Game Pass specifically is big. Yeah. And one other thing, yes, for those players on Xbox who have not experienced Kingdom Hearts 3 yet, we have created a brand new demo to introduce you to the game. Available on Xbox platform. Mm. Oh, fantastic. And it's actually going to be available from today. Ooh. Wow. Ooh. Okay. It's a free demo. <laughs> So it's a great opportunity, please. Have lots of fun with Kingdom Hearts. Mm. <laughs> Thank you so much, Hashimoto San and Hazaba San. And it's so great to hear all the Kingdom Hearts. Okay, okay. Cool. Let's see news. Now let's I mean, not my thing, but I think it's great. I think yeah. it's a good way to expand. Oh, it really Short feels time. like Xbox. All right, thank you so much, Julia. Starting is today, trying to build to holiday, Game, Pass Game Pass as like a, a rival to like some of their of TV and movie Nitro. counterparts. Now, as you may Say, know, hey, we want to work with partners. We want to do our own stuff. We want to make this like the best place to put your gaming subscription. I feel developers. like Sony in particular has a long way to go to compete text, with this with PlayStation Discord Now. Is where teams are formed, yeah, I mean, they've even said right now they have no desire, right, to make it. This is me paraphrasing. Essentially as good as Game Pass because they really don't need at this point with the position with they're in but other players now and now Nitro that's what i'm saying don't get too cocky up my to friends with high quality streams custom <laughs> tags cocky. animated emoji and a bunch of other premium God, the features. people in the background just <laughs> creep me out i feel like they're staring into my soul i know like the guy in the middle like, the oh no the guy to the left oh, of larry got the little smile the little smile look at the, the guy games, right above larry's shoulder you mean that's what i'm saying no, he Oh, he's judging me for all of my past transgressions. I don't know it happened. Again, this Oh, God, I can't. And get all the deals you don't it's really making me feel awkward. People behind you. Just like Gears 5. <laughs> all right, it's time to find out which games are coming to Xbox Game Pass, so let's press play now. Okay. Okay, here we go. Okay. 
right, well. This is just a recap yep. of what we've talked yep. about so far. Yeah, the studio game, yeah. Available now. Okay, Rage 2. Hmm. Njago. Remnant. Okay, Talos Principle. I haven't heard about that game in a while. Planetfall. Mm -hmm. Okay. Holiday 2019, they said? So, yeah. like, next month? Aren't we in holiday 2019? I mean, yes. That. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh. I don't think. Oh, that's a, okay, so that's Witcher 3. Yeah, yeah. I thought they said Witcher 2 was coming as well at some point. Oh, Dark Side is okay. Dark Side no, is okay. I never played this. Mm -hmm. Halo Reach, they already talked about. <laughs> My friend Pedro. Oh. Oh, Life is Strange? That's yeah. huge. The last episode's out next month. In 2020? Oh. I know those shoes. Yes. Yakuza. Yes. Oh, wait. Zero, Kiwami, and Kiwami 2? Okay. Yes. Of course, all the Final Fantasies. Yeah. Minecraft, okay. I'm like scribbling all of these on this piece of paper. <laughs> it's like the worst scribble ever. It's okay. Grounded. Yeah. Oh, we didn't see anything on Wasteland 3. Hmm. Did we? No. No. We didn't. Mm -mm. Ori, okay. That's February 2020, right, Ori? Here's the question. Is it going to close out with the Fortnite ad? <laughs> God, I fucking hope not. <laughs> They're like, just one more time. Fortnite, just everybody. One more. <laughs> wow, that graphic. What? Oh. They're like, and the indies! <laughs> I like this montage music. I'm into it. We're jamming. I know, Tracks I get the, the train set I get game. The head bob going. Streets of Rage 4. Brit's as cool as the other side of the pillow. One of my favorite, favorite Jack Jam scenes. <gasps> uh, Skatebird. I don't know how I missed this game, but if I ever played a skate game, it would be <laughs> this one. Steimer and I played it a couple years ago. You're basically like two dogs with one body. It's a co-op game. It's weird. That sounds like something right up your alley. Yep. Still going, you guys. What's that? Is somebody calling me? What's happening? Is that you? No, my shit. No, my shit's going walk too. I lost it. Come back. Oh, the stream. Something? Yeah. There we go. Okay, I just want this should be our new theme music. Sorry, Dale North.
Yeah, she is drunk right now, but now unfortunately she wasn't calling in. There we go. Wow, did you see all those games coming to Game Pass? I did. Well, we should play that again. That is unbelievable. Here's one more piece of Game Pass. One more. For a limited time, oh. get your first three months of Xbox Game Pass Ultimate for <laughs> one dollar. Ultimate includes three months of unlimited Xbox Game Pass for console and Game Pass for PC and, of course, Xbox Live Gold. Plus, this holiday members also get one month of EA access yep. to download and play great games from series like Battlefield, FIFA, Mass Effect, and more. Three months of oh. Discord Nitro, and you'll rock six months of Spotify Three months of Premium. Discord Nitro? With that, let's go over to Charlie. All right. Okay. Now, we've had an absolutely incredible time here at XO19, but we're Happen. not done yet. Now, we're joined by head of Xbox. It's Phil Spencer. Yeah, Phil. Blow let's go, up. Phil. Blow it up. Blow it up. Blow my skirt up above my face. <laughs> Yay. Well, it's Thank been you. an amazing celebration of getting here everybody for coming to XO. It's amazing. Thank Talking you. Talking of XO. <laughs> What gets you so buzzed by a show like this? <laughs> Specifically this one. What gets you so excited about He's just such like a great person, you what, guys. I mean, the, mm -hmm. being Apart here with the community of yeah. Xbox gamers, people that just love video games, come here to share the love with each other, to get to play the games. It's all about the fans, and I'm just so happy to be here with everyone in London. Our biggest event ever in London. It's awesome. So thank okay. you. It's pretty good. And actually, I wanted to ask you briefly, before, we, before Brit, the show even what's started, happening? What is well, that? the stream is, is buffering. There, it's back. Oh, yeah. Bring an Ewok to Mixer. People haven't seen that news. Got announced today. We've been adding more and more streamers. Ewok's a really special streamer and really happy to have her come into the platform. Uh, it's just continued growth for Mixer. It's a great community of people watching. People play video games. It's awesome. Completely agree. Now, we gamers want great games. And today, mm, there's mm, a lot mm. to share from Xbox Game Studios. Should fans get used to this from Xbox Game Studios? Is there even still more to come? Yeah, you know. <laughs> no, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> where is that other noise coming from? I don't know where that came from. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, Booty, and the team have been doing great work. Mm -hmm. uh, it's great to sit here and come and see, you know, three new Xbox Game Studios announced, games announced seeing just so many, much of our first party work. Frankly, when we look forward and we're looking at the shows to come, I can't see a show where we won't be announcing new first party games. There's just so much in development and there's so few shows that I think this should just be something that we should get used to. Seeing new games from our studios, doing amazing That's work. Really exciting. So is he just basically right now so committing yeah, that XO is gonna be like a big thing for games. Microsoft going forward? Sounds so like it. Yeah? News on the show today. And it feels like there's a lot of gamers at home and this room have something to be really, really quite happy about with some major franchises yes, coming to Yes, Boat Knight. His real name is but Booty. That's his thing that true given surname. Mm -hmm. third-party content to the platform? Well, we know our Xbox fans and customers want great third-party games. You know, getting to open the show today with Star Wars Everybody. was really mm. special. It was great to moment. see that. <laughs> but I think people know I, I've been on the... Uh, the plane from Seattle to Tokyo quite mm -hmm. often mm -hmm. um, and doing some work. And it's just amazing to be sitting here at the show talking about Yakuza coming to Xbox, talking about Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 coming to Xbox, all those Final Fantasy games coming to Xbox, all coming to Game Pass. So for people who haven't played those franchises before and want to try them, they'll be in the service. You can try them. I know there's more work I have to do there. I hear the feedback from the mm -hmm. fans and the customers about new franchises that they want franchises that maybe aren't on our platform today. Uh, I just want them to know for me that I hear them, uh, we're mm -hmm. on it, and we'll continue to do the hard work to bring the games that you want on our platform. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna let them cheer at that one. <laughs> that was a good one. But talking of hard work, we also heard earlier from Kareem about the expansion of Project X Cloud Preview Program in 2020. With more than 50 games available in preview, new devices support, and new markets in 2020, what else does that mean for gamers? Yeah, for us, Project X Cloud is always about choice. And like many things this generation, we're building this hand in hand with you. The reason we're in preview 
is because this technology is something that we're working on, and we want to hear feedback from you <laughs> about how you feel about playing your Xbox games on other devices. We're not is that a slight jab at Stadia? We're not Maybe? Trying, to, mm -hmm. trying to claim that we're getting rid of the devices that you already own. This is about us building a service with our community. I don't think so. Them to take their I think it's his way of saying we're not trying to tell you to dump your Xbox. The thing that's really great to we're see trying to figure out if we have. We can you know, get preview working games, on all of these different devices because we have 50 games particularly now for Android, there's Cloud, so many different kinds progress. of Android devices. We're getting good operators, like the, the telcos are helping us. <laughs> we have new third-party <laughs> yeah. manufacturers that are building new It's so like getting the code and, and the servers to like talk hand to hand all of those different devices. You know, the, Flawlessly the is like an is almost like an insurmountable now, task, right? It's the right call though to to basically come out and say, okay, no, so okay, it's back. Essentially, is people Hold on, we can constantly. talk about this. Like, I like I this. love tweet, getting this. tweets from people, especially the nice ones. <laughs> especially the nice ones. Here, Only here. the nice They're ones. Nice, Don't be right? mean to Phil. We are nearly at the end of the show, but there is still one oh. pretty big game we haven't talked about yet, and I hear that you are particularly jazzed about this one as well. Yeah, you know, one of the things as Matt and I were working through the studio acquisition map, uh, and there were two studios that I, I was really excited about, as was he. One is obviously Obsidian. The rumor was we're going to announce a new acquisition I'm today. I'm spending a ton of hours in the Outer Worlds right now. Not done yet. Level 22, <laughs> getting close. Oh, come on. Uh, Level 22 is not close, Phil. you got a long way to go. bring great RPGs <laughs> to our platform. I think we've missed that as a first party. This fable generation. is this fable so we had the opportunity to work well, within exile and bring and now wasteland like wasteland oh, okay. to our platform brian fargo and the team just doing amazing work and seeing the progress that we had we said you know what a great way to finish the show because rumor is that playground ray right, is working on fable so everything that we've got going on here yeah i know once he said in exile i was like nope yeah really they're gonna close the show with wasteland no, Andrew, they're going to close it out with a Fortnite advertisement. Oh, okay. oh, oh, my bad. My bad. That's a choice. I mean, I'm really excited for Wasteland 3, but, but you, it's fine. Well, first, the Wasteland series is a deep and dark post-apocalyptic role-playing game. Post and you don't need to have played the first two Wasteland games. In fact, Wasteland 3 is Brian Fiargo. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, Joe, for that reminder. Rangers, Stick on brand. Peace and That's harmony right. to a very messed up world. Only this time you're moving to the frigid Hey, Colorado you're welcome, Ty Stick. No We're happy to be here but, to help uh, support you. I'm sorry to hear that you've been game. injured. Right. Take care of yourself, Damn, though. Right. Don't push it too quickly because those muscle tears are no joke. Conversation you have and that sucks. It's getting old sucks. I don't know if you're old or not. <laughs> that sounds like something that would happen to an old person. Maybe they are a very yeah, youthful now, person who just was very motivated franchise. during a workout what's, session. I don't know how you tore, tore your muscles. <laughs> a lot of different options there. A lot of possibilities. We, we did the first wasteland. We set out to make a very dark. Uh, see, you are a youthful person. Uh, 39 is super youthful. Yeah. Choices. All the way back I mean, to never mind. I'm not gonna, never mind. I'm feeling a little feisty because I'm kind of bored. Oh, okay. So, so I was gonna like make a joke about your 39. To me, that's a grandpa, but that's not true. And and I didn't want to offend you, Tystic, because you're injured. I don't want to kick you while you're down. Wow, Brit. I know. I told. Andrea, I just, I, I'm bored. It's almost over. This is the end. Also, like, you're going to go out on an interview? You're going to go from Phil fucking Spencer to a Q&A with Brian Fargo with some canned coffee points? I'm not trying to be disrespectful because I'm sure, you know, I just want to see... I mean, I'm not trying to be disrespectful. I'm just saying, Xbox, you pay a lot of money to produce these fucking shows. Like... You're come on, come on, it's been huge. come on. Uh, soundtrack wise, we brought on the uh, uh. music supervisor who did all the Quentin Tarantino films. This is the stuff you do afterwards, right? Kind of yeah, that you yeah. do to your so, hardcore you know, fans and, and that, that care that about the music supervisor, that uh, care about the, the, the show, legacy Games devs that are involved. Year. The I people that the are tuning in to watch XO, like, don't care yeah. about the specifics today, on any one title. They're here for the hype. Maybe they do. It just shows why everyone is so excited for this franchise. I think this is just the style of Inside Xbox. Maybe we just need to set our expectations properly. Oh, now there's more. All our Xbox fans, the entire cast and crew of Inside Xbox and XO19 here in London, thank you so much. But can we talk about how Xbox has just like taken over for PlayStation experience and Sony dumped that? And they're like, we're going to step up and fill that role for Xbox? 
Because I got press releases saying there was going to be over 20 playable games at XO19, and I'm like, should I have bought a ticket and gone to XO19? Did I fuck up? I have a list of the playable games. Right? Mm -hmm. It's a it's a good list. We could have gone to London Brit. What the fuck we were we thinking? Maybe Spice Girls still would have been there. We could have done a thing. How about but no. we plan XO 2020? Watch, it's gonna be in the States though. I don't Watch. care. Let's go. I mean, I don't care either. Let's go. Okay, okay. Get, can okay. I get to go? Should we go? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. I'll we'll go. go. We'll go. We'll go. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. It'll be great. On today's show, I want to talk to you about Trev Tyler, what's disrespectful? Which part? Our world. Oh, because I said I don't want to be disrespectful. Wait, what? The world you see now is Steimer is in place. Europe, Nicholas, but she's on vacation now. She was working for the right. past two weeks, Democracy, and then she decided to tack on a vacation at the end of it. So she's um, in Milan, if you've been watching her Instagram, um, and just chilling. You should go to her Twitter account because she's very drunk, and I love drunk Steimer. Oh, wait, she's drunk stories? Oh. Drunk stories? No, no, on Twitter right now. I don't know if she's doing anything on stories, oh, but... Oh, okay. The <laughs> <laughs> three children of our patriarch are even more ruthless than he oh, is. Oh, damn. The Verge. Society built on the world is waiting for the studio... Oh, the world is waiting for Google Stadia to flop. Oh, dang. That's a like nasty... This. Oh, yikes. Over a hundred years ago... I mean... Everything was I'm not... Wait, never mind. I'm... Hmm. I'm not waiting for it to flop. I am anticipating a rough launch, a beta launch, if you will, and then it'll maybe get its footing. Okay. We're gonna talk about it. All right, yeah, you guys. Will. Um, Wasteland Three is up right now. We're talking over it because, as you can tell, we're not super excited about Wasteland. I am. Um, you are. I am actually, yeah, because this one has co-op, and it kind of looks like a Divinity-esque kind of feel, because you can, you know, like that kind of game. But that said, I've seen all I need to say. I don't really care about, yeah, story-driven co-op, let's go. Okay, but, you know, okay. I'm just watching it. I already know I want to play it. I've seen enough gameplay where I'm like, okay, I'm into it, but I don't mind talking over it. Are you sure? I'm sure. Yeah, I mean, I already know I want to play it. I've seen monsters, I've seen big guns, explosions. And people day. are being killed, Tune and I'm like, okay, cool. We're gonna talk about the dangers of cannibalism. Oh, cannibalism. Hmm. Hmm. Yep, Joe, this is definitely a Brit and Jason game. <laughs> I love these games because I love to crank up. Most of the games I don't like to play in hard mode. Oh, look at Andrew! <laughs> are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? I can't believe it! Flip's table. <laughs> Why? Why is this a thing? I thought it was. I thought I didn't think it was possible, Britt. I didn't think it was possible. Like, I told you, it's the same fucking trailer from the beginning, but they just made it shorter. Oh God! Oh, I laughed so hard my ribs punctured my organs. I think. Oh, you know when you laugh so hard you feel like a pop in your in your gut. Oh. No. Oh, well, um, cool. Man, I have uh, to tweet about this, you guys. <laughs> uh, so that was admittedly a little underwhelming. I mean, I think the additions to Game Pass were good. It's exciting what they're doing. And then once we get some clarification on that xCloud Game Pass integration, that would be great. I'm looking at my predictions list to see what I got, what I didn't get. We got Wasteland, we got Flight Simulator, we got Dungeons. We saw Sea of Thieves, Crossfire, Open with Jedi, Bleeding Edge. Nothing from Double Fine and nothing from Fable, obviously. Yeah. Um, still nothing new on Tunic, which is that really cute Zelda-like looking adorable game that was announced in 2017. Mm, did they talk about, I might have missed this, uh, the Project X Cloud beta coming to iOS? They did not talk about that. They did not reveal a beta. All of they said was that ga uh, X, X Cloud gameplay preview is coming to PC in 2020. Mm -hmm. So right now, I believe it's Android only, right? Um, and then mm -hmm. if you want to get into gameplay preview on PC, you like go to the website and you like sign up and be like, include me in preview, and then like they select people or whatever. Okay, um, so it sounds like the stream was presented by Fortnite, which is why they're everywhere. I did not know that. 
But why was the stream presented by Fortnite? This is the XO like stream. Slash doesn't have money, Andrea. Come on. No. Seriously, it's... They do. That's interesting. I don't know why that happened, but... Uh, uh, but I mean, yeah? I mean, I guess, like, kind of... All my predictions kind of hit, but I don't know why I was expecting something a little bit more. You know what I think it was? I think, like you said, maybe it was all the interviews and stuff. Which is, you know, good information comes out of said interviews. But I think uh, something though? like this. Sometimes. I think that there was only, I wasn't like, listening to half of it. Right. I think there was only one, no, two to three interviews that I thought were actually compelling. Obviously, with the team from Square Enix Japan uh, and mm -hmm. all the Kingdom Hearts and, and Final Fantasy stuff. That stuff was great. The interview with Phil Spencer, always great to hear from the head of Xbox. Um, I think it's important for him to make an appearance. Um, so those two in particular were really engaging and interesting. As far as, like, actual, like, cool stuff that they announced for, like, a third option for an interview. I think, <laughs> I, I think the game I would have loved to see a little bit more info would have been the uh, new Don't Nod game. But yes. it sounds like there's some articles going up right now. People probably had the scoops on stuff, but... Well, man, if they did a preview of that game and didn't invite us, I'd be very sad. No, I mean, that would be bad. There's just some interviews already live, so. Oh, really? That. Yeah, where they clarified about the uh, transgender character. Oh, well, maybe but. they were able to, like, shoot off PR requests, like, during the, the stream. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, listen. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching our Xbox Live reactions from Echo Woo! 19. We hope that you had a great time. We're going to be kind of going over some of the big highlights from this uh, in the podcast this week, which we're about to record. Uh, so if you have any questions that you'd like to sneak in, don't forget whatsgoodgames.com slash DRWGG is the place to send those. We'll take a look right before we record. So if you want to get them in, get them in now. Uh, thanks so much for tuning in. We love you guys. And we'll see you later. Goodbye. Goodbye. Farewell.